Finally, I have got this package. Here I supposed to have a mobile i7 mounted onto a desktop motherboard. So let me open it up and see if I actually got what I am expecting. As you can see, the seller packed my package really well, like there is no way the post could screw up my motherboard when it is protected this way. The box is from a Maxun H510MR motherboard, but it is not what I'm expecting inside. And finally, here we have the motherboard with the Core i7 or Mobile Core i7 soldered straight onto the motherboard. So inside here, I have got a tube of some sort of thermal paste, the IO shield, SATA cable, and the motherboard itself. The motherboard is rather tiny, but it is bigger than the mini ITX form factor. It has actually three expansion slots. So first PCI Express X16 for dual slot graphics card, and then we have got one extra PCI Express X1. But we have a chassis such as Cooler Master and R200 that has exactly three expansion slots. So I have a hope that it is going to fit in there. I'm not sure though. So the motherboard itself is uh, kind of unbranded and we have a very pathetic VRM, but I have a hope that this VRM will be enough to power up the mobile i7. What I like here is that we have the heat spreader. That means that I can install standard Intel stock coolers and I can install uh, coolers with a direct heat pipe contact and don't be worried to damage the CPU crystal itself. Additionally, on the motherboard, we have two M.2 slots for PCI Express SSDs, one M.2 slot for Wi-Fi expansion cards, we have four SATA ports, we have one, two, four-pin fan connectors and one, three-pin fan connectors, we have two memory slots for DDR4 memory, and of course, we have everything for the front panel, the USB 3.0 header, two USB 2.0 headers, which is really good, uh, audio front panel output and we also get a COM port. Here we have speaker, clear CMOS jumper and the front panel uh, buttons and LEDs. For the rear IO we have two HDMI, one display port, two USB 3.0 here, two USB 3.0 here, two USB 2.0 here, Ethernet and basic audio output. As you can see, even though the motherboard is rather compact, it is very well packed. We have lots of features for this size. Of course, we could wish to have four memory slots instead of two, but since uh, these desktop CPUs have only two memory channels, two memory slots instead of four is not that bad. Before testing the performance of this mobile i7 CPU and this pathetic VRM, I can't say much more, but if you're interested to see how it performs and you would like to know features about this motherboard, then follow me on my main channel. There I will publish full detailed review of this motherboard with mobile core i7 soldered on board.